Hey everyone, this is Hiram here and today we are going to start this online forum. I have made it in Bootstrap, using Bootstrap actually. It has the topics, the sidebar, the side panel and it is responsive to all breakpoints. It has this let me show you the different uh, aspects of the uh, forum the topic topic name these breadcrumbs and some previous posts sorted by ascending descending uh, some buttons and of course some pagination so let me show you that it is responsive to all breakpoints and here we go so you can notice that it is fully responsive and this part I'm going to show you through the scroll bar actually so everything is very disciplined and within the frame so I think we shouldn't wait for more and let's get started I'm using VS code editor whatever code editor you have you can go with that I'm going I have a folder already I've created the folder on my desktop and I'm going to say forum tutorial and inside this forum tutorial I am going to create a page index.html and if you are using VS Code Editor, you can use the Bootstrap extension. You can install it, and after having that, just write B4, and it will give you the emit. And here it's the emit of Bootstrap. But if you are not using this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete it. If you are not using VS Code Editor, then go to your browser, search for Bootstrap, click on Get Started button bootstrap website and then here you can get the starter template copy the code paste it into your editor and that's it so now I don't need this hello world title here I just want to say forum tutorial I don't need this heading and save it let's start checking by using the browser and okay so nothing happens because we haven't done anything we just copied the starter template and we just changed the title so the title is here forum tutorial and let's go back and start coding for that first of all i would like to mention the comments for this and I like to see navbar end of navbar in between these commands I'm going to write my code for the navbar so let's get started nav I'm assigning it a class navbar and navbar dark then I'm going to have a div signing it a class container okay and then I'm going to say that heading one I have a link here for the moment this link is not pointing to anything so it's just let it be as it is and I'm going to say here nav <coughs> excuse me navbar 
brand. This navbar brand is a bootstrap component, so I'm using it here for the logo or for the title of the website. So that's why I'm using this navbar brand. And let me close this. Okay. Now I'm going to start a form, assigning it a class, and the form should be in line. This form, this form is going to show this search bar. Okay, so I'm using the form for this search bar. So let's go back. Okay. Now in here, I'm going to have an input type text, and the class of this is form. It's a Bootstrap class. Form control. Oops, my spelling. Sorry for that. Margin 3, margin bottom 2, margin bottom small. Here I'm defining it for the uh, small devices to make it compatible. And uh, uh, to make it compatible uh, and for defining the breakpoints. placeholder mm, it should be search now I'm going to define a button here and the type of this so okay submit I'm going to assign it a class bootstrap class which is btn for button and I want a button in a dark color like black and in between I want to write search that's all let's go back to the browser and check that here it is okay so we have a search bar nothing is visible here so let's um, create a css file let's name it style.css okay and here first of all i want to have a body tag and in here i want to define the family font family and i'm going with this courier monospace um no sorry let's go with the aerial okay and let me see wait and here i have defined i have defined already this class navbar so i'm going to call this navbar class here and i'm going to assign it a background background color and the background color I've chosen is 45B8FF. This is my background color for the navbar. Now, of course, nothing happens because we didn't attach this to the style sheet. So let's go back and I'm going to attach it here in the head section. And here I should say link style sheet and then href and style dot CSS and okay so we are good to go. Let's go back. Now it gives this color gives life to this page. It looks bright and nice. So here 
our navbar is ended here. Now we need to have a breadcrumbs. Let me delete this space actually. To okay. So here I'm going to have the comments for my breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is also the component of a bootstrap, so I'm going to use the bootstrap this bootstrap component mm, breadcrumb end of breadcrumb. Okay. And here I'm going to write my code. First of all, div assigning it a class and it is container sorry for my spellings no container okay and margin from top and bottom would be three then i'm going to have a nav again a nav bar so i'm assigning it a class and i'm just going to say it's a bootstrap component breadcrumb so i'm going to have this bootstrap component here i'm going to have a heading assigning it a class breadcrumb oops okay breadcrumb item and it should be active for the time being as we don't have any other page so just to make it um, prominent or more visible i'm just giving it this active class assigning this active class actually Let's save it and go back to the browser. And yes, it is here. Okay. Its color is it's in a bit gray color, so I'm not going to change this color. It looking good. Otherwise, it it will be oh, it will give a rainbow effect if I use any other color to this form. So I want to keep it simple. And let's go back and here down below let's start at the okay moment please here okay i just want to remove this space okay And now, here I'm going to have an other comment and I'm going to say it would be the category and end of category. Okay, let's start writing our code here with a div assigning it a class raw have another div assigning it a class and here I'm defining it for the breakpoints. So 12 column uh, and then extra large call and then nine. Okay. Again, I'm going to have a heading two, assigning it a class 
of h4 the category margin bottom 0 padding 4 this padding is the bootstrap utility it's not a component so this is the utility of the bootstrap I'm using here to make it uh, responsive to all breakpoints actually and then I'm going to say top to give it some style and text would be light because the color I'm going to use here is the same blue as I have used in my navbar so here it should be capital actually category not this one okay now I'm going to create a table okay this category let's first of all let's go back to the browser and yeah we cannot see anything because the category color the the category text is light light means it's white and we didn't assign any background color to this so let's go back to the style sheet style.css and by using the category class this one I'm using this category class here and I'm going to assign it a color so I'm going to say background background color and it is the same okay okay it is done so if we use the sass in this then we don't need to repeat these colors again and again by using sass we can use only the command like add include or mix in or something like this so if you are interested to learn links in learning sass then do let me know in the comments below and I will prepare a tutorial for that also okay now I want to have a table here assigning it a class table and I want to have my table in striped and table I have used some striped table in one of my old tutorial in which I have made prepared the I've made that uh, admin dashboard for a website so if you haven't watched that you can go back and check that one it's a series of the uh, five I think five videos and it has everything in well detail like if you want to have a striped table with different colors you can concern to that tutorial of mine um, because it is a forum so I'm not going to use more colors in this otherwise as I've told you that it will be it will show a rainy rainbow effect so I don't want that but if you want to have a color a striped uh, striped color or color striped sorry then you can concern to my other video okay so table bordered and then table responsive okay here I'm going to have a table head assigning it a class table head light excuse me okay and table raw within this table raw now uh, I'm going to have a table data and it would be like a table cell or table data so the scope would be call class 
forum and I'm stuck here okay forum call and then I'm going to say the title of this is forum it should be capital okay another table cell so it has a scope I'm going to repeat all and here I'm just going to say topic or uh, topics what again table head and the scope and sorry call and now I'm going to have a class here so it's for the last post column and then the last oops last post okay let me I'm sorry okay now it is more visible so here post and this table raw I missed something yeah here I should have a scoop and posts let me delete this one okay this is space I deleted the space only and it is done so okay so you can see forum topics post and last post what's going to be here yet we don't know but we are going to make it like this I promise okay so let's go back and create another table uh, sorry table body not another table and here I'm just going to say a body table raw and table cell again TD this is the heading actually okay table heading and this is the table cell so I think I have I have I said that it's a table cell yeah it, it's a heading and it's a table cell sorry for that now I'm going to have a heading 3 Assigning it a class H5 and margin bottom 0. Let me go with a link here, and this link is for nothing for the time being. And let's close it, and it should be forum name. Now we are going to have a p tag, a paragraph tag, and I'm going to assign it a class. Margin bottom zero. Some dummy text. Mm. Okay. I don't want it to be with more text or it's only five words I have given. Let me go with the eight. Okay. And let me make it more visible so you will not have a problem. Okay. Let's create another table cell. Let's say it's a div. 
I'm just uh, going to write some random numbers. So it's just a 9. It's a random number. There isn't any logic in this number. But I'll explain you later. Then table cell. It would be 30. Okay. And then again, table data, table cell, and now I'm going to have a H4, assigning it a class, H6, margin bottom 0, and I'm going to have a link here, link for nothing, and the post name and another div and this div I just want to say bye and have a link here author name okay let me <clears throat> I'm sorry let me check something else I'm just looking for something okay if you have noticed I have a class here forum dash call so I'm going to use this class, this one form dash call and last post call in my CSS and my style sheet. I'm going to say forum dash call. I'll define you why I'm using this class, okay? So I should say min min width would be 256 pixels. And this class last post call. I'm going to have this class here. Uh, let me copy it from here. And here I'm going to have a min minimum width. Okay. And it would be 192 pixels. Save it. Go back to the. Okay. So just wait for the moment and I'll explain you and show you the basic idea behind this min width and max width. Let me check this one. Okay. So let me go back to my browser I'm uh, sorry editor okay let me tell you that uh, wait sorry 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 this one okay let me save it here let me show you I have noticed a mistake here uh, let me close this window actually oops okay uh, I've noticed a mistake here and I just what happened to this actually I mistook here and it's not showing me that one my browser had some problem or yeah okay let me define you something this div tag after this nav element after the closing nav it shouldn't be here actually it this should be this all um, uh, sorry 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 not this div, div I'm sorry again I mistook uh, okay this breadcrumb div it it should be closed here not here after this nav tag after this ending closing nav it should be 
it should be close here like this okay now it is going to give a proper effect to this table because before if you notice I don't know something happens to my browser okay let me check it and then I'll come back to make it more defined or detailed for you so let me pause the video to check the problem here okay okay I'm sorry for the inconvenience actually I found a problem before when I was just checking it so this category section or this table actually it is just attached with this uh, with the window and it is not in the center as it is shown here so what happened here in our code when I have used the breadcrumb and this div tag so this div is I've just closed this div here I shouldn't close this div here I have to take this div from here and I should place it here to wrap this part within this div tag within this container okay within this div container so now if we go back and now you can see that it is in its correct position so it was the, it was my mistake where I didn't notice that hope you understand let me define you again when I define these breadcrumbs here this breadcrumb I have used the div class and container and the margin was this one I close this div class here like I close this container only in this part I didn't use it for this one so for that I should wrap all of my table or tables within this div okay so I uh, I just remove it from there I just remove it from from here after the after the closing nav I put it from here and I place it here below the table okay I hope now you now it is clear to you so now it is within the div and it is within the div container it's not overflowing or going out from the div container hope you got this point okay now let's get um, get back where we were and we were here on this author name I'm sorry I have to drink some water actually okay mm -hmm. now I'm going to have another div and I'm just using a random date actually it's not 11 November 2019 and the time is it's not the exact I'm just using this one okay and the, everything is close here so let's create another table draw have another table data or table cell heading 3 assigning it a class h5 margin bottom 0 <coughs> I'm sorry and a link here And I should say it forum name. Let's have a paragraph tag assigning it a class margin bottom sorry margin bottom zero and I'm going to go with some 
lorem ipsum and it should be 10 words let me make it keep it within the screen so it will be easy for you to watch okay and now I have to close this paragraph I'm going to repeat the same thing here as we have done before so again a table cell and I'm going to have a div here and some random number of course sorry uh, I'm sorry for my spellings okay and the random number this time okay should be eight and another table cell may have a number 30 and another table cell or table data whatever you may like to call you can and I'm going to have a heading 4 assigning it a class H6 margin bottom 0 a link without any link and post name another div uh, let me bring it here okay another div by Assigning it a link and it should be author author name and then oops another div the date same data I have mentioned before and the same time so it's not it's not necessary but I'm just I don't want to be more specific that's why I'm just using this one okay let us say go back so we have two rows and two columns here within the table and I think we should copy this okay let me let me copy this one from this and Let's save and check it first and otherwise okay so successfully copied and let me copy again I think before writing these code this code I should pass some comments not to be confused and I think five columns are enough let me check how many we do I have here three and okay for demo it's it's okay not to be not to having more oh yeah so it's done here okay it has one two three and four these are the striped the striped class as I was talking about these are the striped we have used here okay let me show you something about these striped class we can give them color also as I have told you this video of dashboard admin dashboard is on my channel you can go and check it so here I have used uh, the color striped so where is that this one I think it, this was the part I used the striped color 
uh, in this taskbar so you can go back and check this and check this video it will be helpful for adding more stuff or getting more ideas about the color or some other things okay so let me go back and go back to the let me close this actually okay so let's be concentrated here okay now uh, okay so now let's copy the sec uh, table for the second time first of all let me have some comments here and I should say second table and end of second table and in here I'm just going to copy this table let me use my mini map from H2 to down below the table until the adding table add table tag sorry uh, I'm sorry let me copy it again and okay from H2 if you can write it's okay otherwise um, I'm just using a copy pasting method to until table end I'm just copying it pasting it here let me save it go back to the browser and yeah so this is the first table category this is the second table with the heading category this one and now let's have another table and for that let's say Mm, let me see third table okay the table and end of the table so in here I'm going to paste all the code the same code and it is here so to make it different we can use the color different colors like um, any other color you want blue green red yellow but I don't want so I just want to go with the simple colors here okay now our main section is ready it's done let's go back and create the site section so here I'm going to use start the aside section so I'm just going to have a comment here and I'm going to say it aside end okay aside end the spellings okay within this aside comment I'm going to have a div assigning it a class column 12 for extra large screens sorry call excel 3 it will be divided into three parts on extra large screen and let me see this is the HTML5 semantic tag aside so I'm just going to say div class raw and another div assigning it a class column 12 column small and 6 
it's for the breakpoints. I'm defining the breakpoints for different screens for small, medium, large, and extra large. So I'm just defining the breakpoints here, okay? And Excel 12, extra large 12. I'm going to have another div, a planning it a class. I'm using a bootstrap card class here. Margin bottom three. Margin bottom small on small devices it would be zero. And margin bo margin bottom on extra large devices would be three. Now I'm going to let me bring it here okay to make it visible for you guys so let's have a card body and I'm just going to say card body I'm sending it to class H4 card title and I should say members members online it will show us the stats or yeah kind of a statistics that how many members are online some numbers and now I'm going to have a unordered list here assigning it a class list with no style I don't want any style I just wanted to keep it simple let me use a camel casing style here no style and margin bottom zero Within this UL, I would like to have a list item. So the I'd like to have a link. Actually, first of all, let me go with the links. And this link is not doing anything here. Member. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, member name. Let's copy and paste this list item for several times. Oh, okay, I'm going to use it for the four times. And then the list item is close here. And this div is also close here. And let's have a card footer. And for this we have, a, of course, bootstrap class. And I'm using that one here, card footer. Here in card footer, I'm going to have a DL. DL, let me define you what is this DL. Let me assign it a class and I'll define it to, to you. Then DL DT class. Just a moment, I will define this to you that what it's what is going on here and it is total i want to explain actually two three things together so and that's why i'm just writing and then i'm going to define Four margin bottom zero and it should be twenty here 
and the DL is closed. Okay, let me bring it here and let's talk about this DL, DT and DD in case if you don't know. So this DL is a HTML tag. It's um, It means description or definition list. So this is what I have created a de description list or a definition list. Okay, this DT it specifies this description list. This DT specifies this description list and this DD it's description details. So we use all this within this DL. Hope you got it. This is a description list. This DT specify this description list and this DD is a description detail. So now again, let me create another DL assigning it a class another description list a class row margin bottom zero again DT and it is going to have a class so And I'm going to say members. And another description. Details. And here I'm going to have a class. Column 4 margin bottom zero and some random numbers so it's a random number i have given here and i'm going to have another description list assigning it a class it's a raw margin bottom zero and description text or DT it should be oops class DT class and let me see column eight and guests. DD description details signing it a class column 4 margin bottom 0 random number okay It is done here. Let me save it and okay. So it is here and it is here. Actually, it has to be here in this side section. Let's go back. Okay, I'm sorry there was some problem in my browser. So I've deleted the history and some things. Now it is working well. So the members are, the online members are here. And it is, this card is showing in the site section. There was a problem in the browser actually because I was doing before and it was just getting from the local storage the same thing. I just removed that. Now let's go and start the other section, other part of the site section. And that other part is about statistics. I'm going to call a div, assigning it a class, column 12, column small, 6, 
and again the breakpoints okay on small devices for the and now I'm going to show, sign it for the extra large devices and for extra large it would be 12 it's about the grid system actually now we we have a card again the bootstrap card div assigning it a class and I'm going to have a card body in here I just want to have a heading 2 assigning it a class h4 card title and the title of this card it should be statistics okay again the description list with a class sorry raw margin bottom zero DT as I've told you it is going to specify this DL so column 8 and total forums then DD description details and it is going to have column 4 margin bottom 0 and some random number and uh, DL is close here I'm going to have another description list raw margin bottom zero dt uh, sorry class l8 and i'm going to see the topics description detail assigning it a class column 4 margin bottom 0 10 a random number okay okay and let's copy and paste Or let's go and write. I, I, I'm confused here. Let me copy and paste this one. Okay. And here, not topics. In place of topic, it should be members, total members, total members, and six. So a side section is also done. Yep, these are the members online, and these are the statistics
of total members and now we have to I think we have to make a footer so let's go and start creating a footer and the footer I'm going to have let me delete remove this extra space and from here I'm going to have a footer section end of footer okay so for the footer I have a HTML5 semantic tag footer assigning it a class small PG I want to give it background info or if I don't want this background I can use the other one but let it go with this one dev class BG's background this BG's background color okay it's background so I want the background color should be info it's, it's a kind of a blue okay and dev class signing it container another list assigning it a class list inline margin bottom zero then want to have some list items list in line and item and the text I want it to be white so I'm using a bootstrap class text light and for the copyright I'm using ampersand copy and semicolon and then I'm going to say 2019 and company name or let me bring it down and put it here okay so your name or company name or whatever and then I just want to go list items assigning it a class a list sorry inline item and yeah I want to have a link each ref and I'm assigning it a class let me bring it below here and class assigning it a text light and text light and it is like um, privacy policy we can connect it later if we want and it's done let's go back to the browser okay so the footer is here but it is very limited there is some problem okay just a minute please again it is um, I'm having a problem with the browser we are not going to see this thing so my apologies for this problem as you can see here uh, I need to fix the uh, some browser things so let me check the code again I think I haven't mistook anywhere it's a browser problem so small Or if I give it a um, container fluid, let me go back. Yeah, it's my browser problem. I'm really sorry for this. It is not the problem of this, and there isn't any problem within the code.
So it is done. There is only the problem. Uh, sorry, the problem is within my browser. Let me show you that it is responsive. You are not going to face this problem because you are not going to have this browser problem with you. I'm going to fix it later. And okay. So let's go back and check. Okay, it is my. I'm so sorry. If I fix it, let me try to. Fi okay, it it is here. It's okay. The sidebar, and I'm sorry, my browser just confused me. Okay, and on the medium screens, you can see it is here remembers the statistics and that because of the browser the footer is not showing well but overall it is good it's okay and yep you can move the scroll okay let me tell you one thing explain you one thing if you remember here in this style CSS we had a, this uh, forum call and last uh, post call column sections with min with this and this so this is for the breakpoints okay if I don't use that it is not going to show this this is the last one the last post last column this one and this is the first one so before that if we don't use these properties here these min width and uh, these min width 256 and 192 pixels here then we are going to have a problem with the with these columns they are going to be shrinked they are not going to be more broader as they are showing now uh, if you want me to do the practical let me go this with you but i'm not sure about my browser if it is going to show it or not okay let's go back so you can see it is a very strange no it is not in that manner it, it has a very strange look and it's not showing that scroll bar tool so to make it more um, good to uh, site I've used that uh, main width and last uh, post column last post column and this forum column min width to make it more attractive or um, organized or disciplined whatever you want to see you can say that so it is done to almost the main part of the forum is done I'm again I'm sorry for my footer section for my browser actually it's not the fault of my footer section it's a problem of my browser I will fix it and this one is done the main or the board view of the forum is done if you want to go further to proceed further let me know because there is a topic overview also that how we can or if you can do it yourself it's good it has some badges and some sorting list like this previous list and like it is moving but it's not you know it's not connected to the server so not responding to anything but these are functional if you want to go this pagination and all these things do let me know in the comments below I will proceed it I will make another video for this section and uh, for this link also in the breadcrumb so if you want do let me know in the comments below otherwise i will start i will go with any other project so if you didn't subscribe the channel please do subscribe it and um, like it and if you and, and do subscribe the channel okay for the next new projects so bye for now hasta la vista ciao ciao